This is Timorism Total Learning Channel. Today we will talk about ship classification systems and I also will round off by giving you a show of the Hiaku Pacento that is now done. Very shortly what has been done. Uh, all the turrets have been changed to cannon turrets. This is the CC60 Uber. That means cannon cannon, 60% uh, automatic fire that is, and 100% overdrive Why it's Uber. Uh, there is only one missile turret left and the rest is cannon turrets and now we have four anti-missile turrets by default. The, the missile system has now been changed from missile pulse to missile beam and are now a bit faster. Also the Big gun, if you so say, has been changed to cannon beam instead of cannon pulse, as I was not satisfied with the range of the cannon pulse as well as the damage in proportion to reload time. So please, schema and all, all this, all you fantastic Stormy developers, balance up the weapon a bit. Until then, I will go for beam cannons or cannon beam to not get things confusing. Also the power system has been slightly upgraded. It's not visible, it's all in the shades of darkness, um, but it is to support all these new turrets that does a bit more damage. However, classification systems. This was before called Battleship, which is not really accurate uh, considering the size. Uh, I talked to some really helpful, helpful viewers and now I got this fantastic chart to uh, classificate uh, well, space, uh, spaceships, basically. It's for spaceships. Um, so here you can see the chart and I will uh, give you a link uh, in the description if I can find it. Uh, if I've lost it, I will re-upload uh, re uh, the picture for you so you can get to this one. But you can see here there are loads of different uh, parameters that uh, basically decide of what class the ship is. Um, the only thing that I'm not satisfied with uh, that chart is that it says that transport must be armored and well, no, only military transport, I mean civil transport Transport should have like non armor. I mean, it's not like regular food trucks have armor. I mean, seriously. But otherwise, the shot is really fantastic. You can look at all these different parameters. Uh, and after making this ship, that is, I rather mean that that ship, um, I realized how big it uh, became. And when I started building this, you can see it's a four really large turret uh, ship. And that's a one or two man ship. Um, it's very modern. Um, and I decided to... that is a gunship. You can see it's, uh, it doesn't have too many shields, uh, too much shields. Uh, however, the turrets are individually shielded. And the shield is as much as high as the main body. But however, um, I decided when I make this, this is a gunship. However, I will call this a beam ship because it will only use beams. Um, but the class gunship, or I will create a new class um, that is beam ship. Basically the same thing, but with beams. Um, and that is uh, approximately about the size of the Hyaku Pacento. It's a bit uh, wider and a bit shorter in the moment. It's uh, in no sense done yet. You can see I have much modeling in the back. It's half done basically. But you can see I can have this splashed um, splashed armor on it. It looks like it's driven through some really hard armor. It's the advanced creation of the armor. You have to splash it on and it gets super hard. Um, I don't know. But you can see the size is not too... Uh, it's not a huge difference. So uh, with the shard in my hands and with my new ship in making, I decided that this is instead a light ion cruiser, or it's a light cruiser, but it uses ion system because this cannon was EMP before, but um, the EMP effect, even though they doubled it, is 
bit too low, I think, for modern ships have quite high power systems. Also, there is no punishment when the power goes down completely. It really loads up just, just again, like a millisecond and their power is up again so it's kind of useless and that's another thing I want if you're a developer or no uh, personally a developer from Starmade um, please tell that uh, EMP should really disable the power generation system so you can submit the, that if you have the mental uh, power and time to do that to the Starmade team that the EMP should have some punishment on the systems. Not going up directly. I mean it destroys electronics, it should have a lasting effect. But now this is iron, which makes it 50% iron, it uh, damages shields quite a bit. Quite useful, uh, much more useful now as well as the range is really long with the beam or sniper version long range thing. So that's one thing, and also this, uh, this was changed because now the range is like 9600 meters of them, which is really much needed also. Uh, but in all, all that encounter and uh, or all counting all that, plus that I have an extensive uh, iron effect uh, of 400 blocks, which only generates about 13%, but it has a 13% shield bonus, uh, and then it really has uh, some really powerful, really powerful shields. Um, I can park this ship beside a beta station, and it will not go down. This is a, um, well, I could say that this ship is built after Swedish standards. Uh, security first. It's a really defense uh, orientated ship, but it does have some powerful weapon system. Of course, uh, when you fire this long range and if, when you fire them also swarmers, the energy goes in bottom and it has a big energy system also. However, this is now a light cruiser where I call it uh, Hyaku Pacento Light Ion Cruiser because Ion Cruiser sounds so fucking science fiction and quite cool I must say Ion Cruiser Light Ion Cruiser um, considering the size of the ship as well as uh, well yeah basically the size of the ship and the ion is for the all the ion system but it's a light cruiser um, so when you look at the, the chart I can pull it up again or you can have it in, well, you have the link. Um, then uh, this really is uh, a bit too small considering that this is a beam ship. Um, some have a quite uh, big uh, measurement for battleship, like battleship 600 meter. I think that is a bit too high. If we go into our build mood here, we can see that the length of this ship is 103 meter. A light cruiser, then maybe a cruiser, a cruiser is uh, 150, or heavy cruiser uh, 200. I think battleship might be uh, 300 is appropriate for a battleship I'd say around that but it depends basically there is no rigid classification system this is my personal system um, that I use and well I just change it for the better um, as my beam ship is quite large so that's that's some information for classification um, system so please use this chart um, I really think it's helpful and if you're a Starmage ship builder I'd say that you would think that this is helpful too and also please fighters fighters can not be over 30 meters some build huge fighters but uh, again classification is personal but I think a fighter is not much more than I don't think 20 maybe I think 25 heavy ah. 
whatever, let the people do their own system. But this is a light cruiser, and I think it's a quite good size for a light cruiser. Now, um, maybe, I don't know if anyone wants me to upload this ship on the Star May Dock. I mean, I uploaded a uh, few ships. If you want to check me out, it's just Gmodism. Um, I have uh, my Wakasashi Light Fighter, um, which by some standard is not, is, is not light. I think it's, I don't know, 15 meters. Uh, but I think it's that's basically light. Um, and I also have my Space Volvo. I can recommend my Space Volvo, it's a fun uh, transportation system. Um, if you didn't see the last video, here is the Space Volvo in uh, repair version. It has different versions. This is the repair version, uh, just made custom for this ship. Um, but uh, I think I thought first that maybe I should upload this ship too, but uh, ah, it's much trouble and I didn't get so much many downloads. I mean, I'm a YouTuber, so people don't check me out on Star Made the Dock. The only ones uh, checked me out came probably from YouTube. Uh, considering I don't have any m many ships, maybe my uh, name or trademark, Gymnasium Industries, isn't very big on Star Made Dock. But if you like this ship, um, you can say it in comments, and if there is enough of you that uh, would like this ship, I will upload it for you. Then I will go through the work of making thumbnails, text, and uh, writing down the stats and whatever. All that usual stuff. So, if you like this ship on Star Made Dock, tell me, and if it is enough of you, then I will upload it. Well. As I said, uh, if you missed my uh, last uh, half random little uh, video, then I will give you a tour of the ship uh, to round off this video. But if you've seen the last video, this is basically the same thing. Um, but maybe this... I don't know. I, I, I can't see the time of my video. So I don't know how long this is uh, till this point. But. I will go through a ship. Uh, I will go through the ship um, if you want to look at it. But what I was wanted to show that I um, I took a ship and then I battled myself, and you can see that it uh, it's totally wrecked. <laughs> this is my uh, pirate version. I mean. Slam, slam, slam of shots, and it, uh, yeah, it's totally wrecked. I think I uploaded some uh, photos on Google Plus to show off the destruction of it. <laughs> kind of random, but anyways, let's go through the ship. If you lo if you looked at the last video, this is basically the same thing, same thing. So uh, you might, uh, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. All of you that looked at the last This is Geomodism out. I hope I will be seeing you in the last video. Uh, subscribe and if you like the video, please like it so I know and it will... Uh, well, basically my analytics, I will see which uh, videos are most liked and then I can uh, understand what type of content you like. But if you didn't see the last one, I will review or look through, go through the ship once again for all. Um, basically I had a thought that I would make a like manual torpedo stuff with warheads and that um, with many accident of the warheads exploding in my warhead base um, I have postponed that project a bit but uh, there are doors let me eh, like here these are the doors for the the places where I wanted them. I may I may be redoing that to uh, something else later on. But anyways, um, maybe we should just look through the systems uh, of the ship. So uh, here, firstly, we have a uh, shotgun. Uh, it's a uh, slabbed up shotgun, so there is lots of shots, if you so say. Uh, and it does some damage if we select... Oh yeah, this is... Uh, let's go to this version. Eh. 
one that survived. So this is a well, shotgun system with explosive effects. When the shields are down, this completely eats up the ship. That's why the ship looks so miserable. Because the, well, the destruction of this is just horrible. Also, I think each of the pellets are kind of uh, hard enough uh, or penetrating enough to get through two layers or something like that. Well, next out is my newly upgraded. It's damage, uh, well, it's cannon with damage beam and iron effect. Uh, and you can see it drops the shield quite fast, even though this is a ship that is, uh, it's focused on shields. Now it doesn't have its iron. Um, activated but uh, well it does quite some damage and the penetration is quite huge uh, considering the size of the weapons we can actually look at it and it doesn't work but here it is um, two groups what whatever um, oh yeah some group got loose I don't know but anyways here is total damage projectile uh, penetration 36 blocks I haven't seen that range 600 meters that's nice oh now I now I fired something else um, so next out oh no yes oh yeah 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 um, here are the missile with explosive effect and uh, well it's the lo it's lock on missiles which is also changed and this is the range weapon uh, if you go into T menu here you can see that we got loads of information that we haven't had before uh, this is slabbed up also but uh, let's see here the range 9600 well that's that's some um, so it reaches quite long while and this is scary but anyways um, it completely drops the power so this is th something that you fire from a distance uh, you don't just fire these when in a battle uh, because one thing um, your these these uh, CC60 EBA will uh, accidentally shoot down missiles if you fire them in line because there is uh, not too much of uh, too much space uh, to have different weapons on uh, and also they drop the power so this is um, when you are from a distance you begin with bringing down the shields with this ion and then you continue with firing um, these long range missiles and then then we will go through to we will change the camera let's see here here um, we have the MM gate whoa now we get upside down and every, everything, but uh, well, I can show it here. This is the M gate to reveal these beauties. Oh yes, they do some damage. Um, they are a quite large weapon system, overdrive and all, and they spread out and destroy everything uh, dangerous to have if you have friends around. And well. Um, let us go to a inside view. Ah, let's see here. This is the right port. So here you can activate lights, light up. Uh, you reach. You can access the gate from both inside and outside the airtight space. So it's completely safe. Also, the docks are faction moduled. Um, then we have radar, radar jammer our ion effect of 12.5% uh, quite fast loading jump jets not the fastest but you can see it's uh, it's not super sluggish on the next we have a scanner nice with scanner uh, and we also have an underside dock and a well, basically USD type 1 and we have a underside uh, planetary or or basically well landing landing stuff I also try to make it look a bit more rigid with all these fancy parts under it and well there is some information that uh, you might not have knew, known but uh, this ship core 
you can use it to activate and open like doors. Uh, you can activate buttons. So if a ship comes in, it will use its ship core to activate this button to open the gate. Uh, so that's one thing that is worth, worth knowing. A last thing about the ship systems is that we have on both sides uh, extra turret spaces, however they conflict if you have uh, a tight USD Type 1. Uh, so they are extra attachment if you want extra anti-missile turrets or maybe uh, the old 3-beam turrets. Basically this output is designed for the old 3-beamers. Then we have some extra here. Um, that's for a very low turret like anti-missile. If you're going to uh, meet a the Alpha Pirate anti the Alpha Pirate missile station, you might want some extra. Um, and down here, there is also extra room for more of the explosive uh, missile turret. So let's now go out from here and check the insides. Captain seat. And here we have mistype, which is uh, cancel. I actually wrong, wrongly spelled this. So it should be ha sento. Oh, yes. Anyways, uh, fixing on, <laughs> on the go. Uh, we can activate the beacon lights here. We can also deactivate the white service lights. Uh, the white service lights are uh, kind of more for... Well, it's not meant to be activated in flight. Uh, the regular lights should be this uh, control lights. Uh, common lights. Common lights. Now I misread. Uh, misread instead of misread. Anyways. Shield command. This is the command seats for the shield engineers or something like that. Shield stats and here we have the power engineers. Well, some interesting text about the command bridge and uh, well, docking information and also all the areas. And a little ship um, storage. Yes. Now Let's see here. Yes, we are under gravity. Here we have the system server hall with the ion, uh, shield, protection, faction module, jump drive, ra jammer, little medkit, and all. Here in this airlock, which I didn't seal, you can go outside and, uh, well, walk on the ship deck, ship deck uh, like the old times. Don't fall off. <laughs> but you probably know that by now. Walking down, um, and also uh, what I mentioned in the last video that I I don't uh, I don't aim to hide all the system blocks because I think that uh, the system block has their own beauty, which I basically display off in this uh, well power generation, and it does yield some. It does really yield some power though it's not the most efficient way. Anyways, down here we have the universal serial dock. Um, and this one is not permission modeled, so they can't get through all. And here you can have all the stuff with uh, guns aimed and also place for anti-personal turret if you would need that. Uh, a very dark alley, which I'm happy about. And, well, this is the conference room, planning desk, media resources, planetary map, and war command center. Thought is if you have a commander uh, on board rather than in the ship, like um, the commander or the overlord or overseer would sit in here and uh, basically give all the commands for the pilots and the weapon engineers above. We also have some different light settings in that room, so you can have red, yeah, red, purple, um, white, or mixed light. And uh, well, I made a little design of a space bike uh, from a ship. I've I've seen a ship that used this from things, but I uh, made a uh, different type of ship, more uh, bike looking. Uh, 
Um, and this is my space bike, which follows. Uh, it comes with the ship um, to work as a planetary lander, and it has uh, underside docking. And you basically sit there and fly a round, which is nice, very minimal. Now I went out of uh, gravity. Well, here we have the base again. Um, docking bay, some storage, sitting down areas and uh, well, docking center. Here is the docking center computers that tells uh, which docks are permission modeled and which are not. Here we have the ship service bay mm, and ship service bay is basically ooh, here that we have some smaller docks. Uh, and there comes one. Oh no. Okay, we didn't fall too long. Um, there is one, like repair Volvo, here that you can go to and uh, fly forward and down, and you will get out and be able to repair all that is not whole. So. Moving on, and I actually want to get inside that field again. Let's be going to the common areas. Here we have another place for parking a ship, uh, barboard, docking info, and uh, well, launching areas. Here we can sit down. Here is some more rich places, if you so say. And here we have a kitchen with uh, nice looking bread. <laughs> um, well, consumption comments. Auto chef bought manual cooking crew food storage. How nice is that not? Re recreational relax room. I love that name. Observation comments, hibernator cell. Here you can look over the service ship bay and also you can hibernate is in this super advanced uh, hibernation cell. Isn't that awesome? Moving here, we have the medical bay. Advanced medical reconstructor, auto doctor. This is advanced medical equipment. Uh, and when the service lights are not on, it's kind of dark in here. But uh, if you have the service lights, which you probably have under an operation, these are lit up all and you have nice stuff on the walls. Well, here's a shortcut to the other side. Uh, there is advanced systems underneath. And that's why it's why it's created this way. Here, machine hall, authorized personnel only. Going here and we have all the machinery. I didn't want them to be hidden from sight. Uh, that most shipbuilder de these days do. I wanted them to be totally visible so you can go in here and watch all these beautiful blocks. Now, there is a level underneath this one which is accessible through going around here and here. Here we go to the cargo bay, cargo crate gate and the weapon server all. Oh yes, here is the cargo bay with the cargo here, six storages of cargo, which is enough for a um, cruiser ship. It's not a salvager. And here, if you are on uh, safe places, you can uh, put in crates there and so on. So the weapon server hall is going through here and it's really dark when the service light is not on, but uh, well, servers. Uh, on the other side we have all the weapon servers, or real weapon servers, um, which is all the systems for the ship. <laughs> also, <laughs> keep out when firing. <laughs> it gets very hot, you understand from this idea matter. Advanced cannon systems. Oh yes, I guess that is basically that. We will be going inside this this one. And now it looks weird because uh, I don't know. But oops. 
Well, this is Jimenism Total Nerdery channel officially out. If you like the video, please like it. As I said, if if many of you want this or uh, saying uh, that you want this ship on Star Main Dock, I can upload it for you. Um, otherwise, I will keep it for my own. Um, well, if you like my content, subscribe. Uh, I will, with the te after text rolling, uh, fly out and remembering you of using the ship core. Also, a yes, yes, yes. Uh, use this chart for classificating your ships and remember that classification systems are personal and well basically don't let people tell you how you must classificate your ships unless you are in a server that demands that of you. So this is Jimidism officially out. I will now fly out here and well like the video and subscribe and stuff and what I now have said basically now I need to find this okay so thanks for watching I see you in next video I hope aha excellent and now we are outside in our little space bike well Space bike and repair Volvo is already mounted on the ship. Well, that's basically that. Oh, the main turret, that's a beam, uh, beamed cannon. It's a cannon with beam and it also have overdrive effect. If I didn't say that in this video, but well, Jimmy is out for real.